In fact, I can go over here and film this. Actually, no, you can't. Okay. Yes, no, I can. you can't. Do not assault me, sir. I did not assault yes, you. Yes, you did. I... Todd, what? That's it. You don't want to identify yourself at all? No, ma'am. 95? 95? Hi, how are you? For my safety and for yours, can you do me a favor, please? If you wish to record me, that's perfectly fine. But I'm gonna ask that you please- Don't please touch me, please don't. I don't consent to no search and seizures. Okay. I don't, I'm in public place. Whoa, whoa, relax. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because you coming up here running on me trying to okay. grab me. Welcome to our channel, where we showcase real life scenarios to help you understand and assert your rights before the law. Here, we not only update you with the latest information, but also provide essential knowledge so you can confidently handle legal situations in your life. In this video, we will observe a tense dialogue with the police and learn how to recognize and protect ourselves against unlawful demands. Join us as we master our rights and become informed citizens who stand firm against legal challenges. When did standing in front of a gas station, in a parking lot, or in front of a public building become considered an invasion of private property by the police? So I can confront him. And I said that multiple times, I, I clearly expressed to him, why are you following me? As we know, the First Amendment of the US Constitution guarantees freedom of speech and freedom of the press for all citizens in public spaces, and no one has the right to interfere. However, a troubling situation occurred when Sergeant, a police officer, repeatedly approached and demanded a citizen leave the area, claiming it was not public property. This is absurd because it is clear to anyone that this is a parking lot near a gas station and a building, a public area where everyone has the right to exercise their freedoms. Even a child would recognize this as public property, and people have the freedom to be there without harassment or obstruction. So, can it's you see how... It's a secure facility. It be... Where? Show me the sign that it's a secure facility, sir. See the fencing well, with hold the on. hardware on top? Show me the sign where it says, secured facility. You can only access it through an access card. There's eight where am I standing right now? Wire. Where are we standing right now? Right now, where am I standing? No, answer my question. Where am I standing right now? So you are Here, not allowing us. No, to I'm not going to allow you because in, you instead of doing your job and listening to me, you're trying to accuse me that as if I did something wrong. Did I do something wrong? If you're in here recording our video, our yeah, vehicle, right? right? Yes. In a hey, secured this is facility. A secured facility. So what? That would be suspicious to us. That's not normal. Okay, right? so once you figure out that that's legal. Why continue to pursue me? What I'm trying to help you understand. No, you is, no. Right now, no, let's go I'm back. Not gonna argue with okay, you, okay. Then if you're not gonna help me, and if you don't wanna argue with me, both of you are dismissed. Are we and dismissed? I will absolutely. Well, I can stand here too, can't well, I? Well, so can I. And I can film. In fact, I can go over here and film this. Actually, no, you can't. Okay. Yes, no, I can. you can't. I did not assault yes, you. Yes, you did. I stepped in your way. Don't do that. You do that again, and we will have a serious problem. I'm telling yes, you, we today will. is not the day. I will stand my ground and I will physically defend myself. I promise you that. I don't want that, right? Don't don't so, assault me again. Yes, you did. Not. My hands were up I can, in here. I'm a free they did man. Not move. I'm a free man on a public property. I can move around as I please. No, you will have a problem. You're not welcome. Don't to talk go to over me there. again. You're both dismissed. Well, I'm not dismissed, sir. This is my sergeant. He's here to talk to you, okay? Okay, okay then you're Goodbye. free to leave. I can free to stay. What's your name, sergeant? Elator. Am I allowed to be on this property? Not right now. What you law am no, I breaking? You have no business here. What law am I breaking? You have no business here. Absolutely, I have business here. Where, I just what explain is what my business what is. What is your business? Talk to your lady over is, here. Sure we do. Oh, we no, you don't. It. This is county property. I don't give a damn what you say. You can say whatever you want. I don't have to follow your bullshit. Let me look this up real quick. Go ahead, look it up. Go right there. It says right there. Public works. Public property. I own all of this land. Everything. I own these vehicles. I own this lot. I own your dress code everything that's on you on you on you everything your salaries i pay for them so you've already been explained that you need to leave i don't give a damn what you say you don't have any right to tell me i have to leave public property i'm not breaking any Actually, laws the secure facility is it's closed. not a secure facility i'm in a public it public parking lot you need to i am leave. not behind the fence you idiot so we're not calling your names right i have freedom of speech you should yeah, have done your, your job correct is out there my freedom of speech everywhere where it's public you have no right. That's okay. unlawful order. This is a county property, right? It's public property. So can you see why? You can record all you want. Exactly. You just said I could record all I want. You can record that, but then we've asked you to leave. Am I leaving or am I recording? What am I doing? I just said if you want to record my, my car and document it, you're more than welcome. But that... I've asked you to leave, so it's time to leave. Okay, so am I am I allowed to record? You, you already got it. You already okay. got my car. You got my license plate. What if you I want to What if I want to do it a little bit number. more? The behavior of the police is unacceptable. They used offensive language and threats to try to intimidate me. 
But with a solid understanding of the law, this man firmly stood his ground against the police's pressure. Their actions clearly violated the citizens' rights protected by the Fifth Amendment, and he refused to provide personal information as requested. The confrontation quickly became tense and escalated. I just told you, you're not welcome to be here. Well, I'm welcome Therefore, to record, I right? Your ID. I'm, I'm welcome. I'm, Where's your driver's license? I'm not going to give you anything. Otherwise, you are going to be trespassed. When I'm done and recording? At point, I'm investigating a crime. When I'm done recording? You are legally required to provide a... I want his business card. Does he have a business card? Does he have a business card? Go get his business card for me. I want your business card. Who you think you are, Sultan citizens, man? I didn't assault You're gonna you. get a complaint. My hands were not yeah. out of here. You stepped right in front of me so that I would walk into you. That's what you did. And you had physical contact. And I have every right to be here and record. Yeah, shake your hand. Keep on shaking it. You're definitely gonna get a complaint. This is not gonna be acceptable. Okay. I want his business card. Go knock on his door so, or, or otherwise I will come up here. I don't give a damn what he's on. Okay, well, you're not welcome to approach him. You need to stop. Give me a business card, deputy. I told or you. Sergeant, you. whatever. You're not welcome to approach him. He's on the phone. Okay, okay good. I'll wait. You need to wait. I'll wait. Show me the sign where it says business hours on this lot. Where is it at? Where is the sign of business hours of this lot? I've already been told to leave. Doesn't matter what you say. I said, what are the business hours of this lot? I'm not you need to leave. Point, I'm, I'm not going to leave. I'm going to leave when I so when I want to passing. leave. You, you, you crossed that line when you tried to accuse me of something that I did wrong. I, on the 22nd, I just told you. And instead you just started yelling over me. Right. So when, not, when this dude attempted to ass accuse me and then assault me. That didn't happen. He did not assault Sure he did. It's on record. That's that which he doesn't he doesn't i wasn't going anywhere that was restricted i was just freely moving where was i going was i jumping over the fence was i going through the gate or was i simply walking where it is clearly marked look the way you're parked you're all parked illegally if there were vehicles here this would have been in violation so you think do you own this lot does it belong to you does that belong to you it belongs to us got it we the people the moment you put the uniform on, you work for me. And your boss, your sheriff, is elected by me. Understood? So you, you and him, you all work for me. And I tell you how to do it and when to do it. And I pay you to do that job. And when you don't do your job, according to law, we are going to have a problem. Got it? Get him over here. I need your business card, sir. Do you or do you not have a business card? Yes. Do you have a business card? Well, you said it like you've asked me 15 times. I'm trying to get your attention, but she would, won't even allow me to walk up to you. Well, I'm busy doing something. So am I. Thank you, sir. You see? You see? No trespassing. Learn something. You're wrong. Yeah. If you were right, you would have already done something about it. Do it. Better not see one of you follow me. By the way, that camera? I'm gonna FOIA that, make sure you don't delete it. I fully trust that with a deep understanding of the law, you will have the confidence to face police threats without being swayed. Moreover, to perform their duties legally and effectively, the police also need to be equipped with more robust knowledge and experience. This preparation not only helps you protect your rights, but also ensures that law enforcement is carried out fairly and accurately. How you doing, sir? How are you? Nobody else is in your name. How you doing? Officer Warren. Todd. Todd, are you just filming the... Yeah, just doing some... Uh... You live here in Pearsall? Or? An investigative journalist records and interacts with local law enforcement in Pearsall, Texas. Uh, you could say that. Now I'm an investigative journalist out here on assignment. Uh, just be careful. You too, bud. Have a good day. When journalist Todd was conducting his investigation, Officer Warren approached and obstructed his work. This is puzzling since Todd was simply exercising his rights guaranteed by the First Amendment of the Constitution. The police's intervention in this case seems unprofessional and not in line with legal regulations. Why would a lawful action be obstructed like this? This is a question worth pondering. Pearsall Police Department has an armored car. What the hell? Yeah, this prison is right beside the police department. All right, guys, I got PD right here. He kept going, wow. PD's coming by you. Okay. He eyeballed me and then he 
Turn the other way. Which way he go? I guess he's gonna get on that access road. He's going, he turned around, he's going towards you. Guys, I hope my bamboozer's on because I'm getting ready to have contact with PD. Another one's going towards you. All right, radio silence. Hey, sir, Officer Gonzalez. How you doing? What are you up to? What am I up to? Yes, sir. Got some calls that some people were concerned. About? You just standing out here. They didn't know your well-being or what was going on. You um, needed a ride or something? Just walking up and down. I'm an investigative journalist out here on assignment. Okay. I'm an investigative journalist out here on assignment. Okay. Do yeah. you have your ID on you by any chance? No. no. What's your name? I want to stay. keep my name private. What's for? Hmm? Report you're not wanting to identify yourself? Mm. Is there a reason? For my privacy? I know, but I mean... How you doing, sir? Hi, nobody you else doing? is going to know your name. How you doing? Officer Warren. Todd. Todd, are you just filming the... Yeah, just doing some... Do you, do you live here in Pearsall? Or? I'm not going to answer those type of questions. If, if you live here? Okay, do you have any weapons on you or anything like that? No, I'm not armed. Okay. No, I don't even have a pocket knife. Okay. Texas Penal Code 3802 states, This law requires individuals to provide identification when requested by police in certain situations, typically related to the police having legal reason to believe that the individual is involved in criminal activity or related to an investigation. In this case, the police's intervention was truly baseless and unreasonable. They did not provide any specific reason to require the journalist to provide identification, acting purely on instinct. This behavior not only lacked professionalism but also deeply disappointed the journalist, who saw part of his work obstructed without valid reason. This is a clear example of irresponsible law enforcement, undermining trust in the police. Way out there, like in the middle. But I've had nurses down here that like, drive down here for nursing jobs. Well, I know nurses do. My job brings me down. My, my job brings me down on the radio a lot. Okay. In the valley too, you know. Yeah. So, but yeah, I'm just out here. I'm a journalist, investigative journalist out here on assignment. Okay. Like I told her. So. It's a nice camera, 4K. Yeah, I love nice. it, man. I got it for Christmas. I got the Sony one with the one that had a projector on it. It's kind of nice. Hey, my my hey, friend this, has this one of those. Yeah. This the GoPro. Yeah. yeah. GoPro. They work real good. Yeah. Oh, stabilization. Yeah. I had the one. I had the. Yeah, this black one's one. got that. Yours probably has. If yours yeah. has a projector, then you got the stabilization. Yeah, stabilization. Yeah, it's yeah. a nice camera. I love it, man. Yeah. Oh, I got it on eBay, man. Best Buy. They were like nine hundred dollars. Yeah, man. I got mine open box. I always shop open box. Get look, try to negotiate a deal. Um, I do this all over the state. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I get, I get put on assignment to do these kinds of things. Okay. Um, I've, I, I have a lot of contact with law enforcement yeah. when I'm doing this type of thing. Uh -huh. And um, man, I gotta say, you guys have been. We call it a pass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call it. Okay. You know. Uh, appreciate you guys, man. All right. Is it cool? If we just get your name and your date of birth so we know who we're dealing I'll with. I give you my first name. It's Todd. Todd what? That's it. You don't want to identify yourself at all? No, ma'am. 95? Failure to identify yourself? I'm sorry? You don't want to catch a charge, do you? What charge is that? Failure to identify. Do you know what 3802 is? Yes, sir. What is 3802? Failure to identify yourself? I'm sorry? You don't want to catch a charge, do you? What charge is that? Failure to identify. Do you know what 3802 is? What is 3802? Your rights. I'm sorry? The why don't you tell me what it is? No, why don't you tell me what it is? Because yeah, I know whatever. this guy's going to look up 3002, guys. You guys are being live streamed, by the way. That's fine. There's probably about uh, 120 people watching us right now. I, have, I mean, we understand what you're saying, but... I mean, just to know who we're dealing with, no one else is going to know... I'm not going to identify myself, okay? And if you need to look up 3002 before you decide to take any action against me. I work, work for a national organization. Okay. I'm out here on assignment. I'm an investigative journalist. I told you what I'm doing. I'm not armed. But Other than that. That's what we're dealing with. Okay. You have to identify everybody uh, we come in contact okay, with. Okay, but that's your policy. Okay, exactly. Go ahead, MJ. Why don't you say it? Hey, just wanted to make sure you were all right. Well, uh, I guess you can see what's going on right now. Look on, get on my bamboozer. You'll see what's going on. No. Sorry, all right, you should probably look up 3802. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And you know what? You, this is a this is a this code 3002 is failure to identify. And you guys ask for ID from just about everybody you come in contact with. So this is one code that you guys should be very familiar with. I know, you know? Exactly. You're, not, you're not being victim. You're not being. Uh, we're not saying you did any type of crime, so we really have no reason right. to ask you for a exactly person. a reasonable, articulable suspicion. I, I know what you're talking about. And I, somebody's got a complaint. They just want to check you out. You seem like you don't have any weapons on you. You have every right to be out here doing whatever you're doing. Okay, well, I'm glad we established that. I appreciate the way you approach me, yeah. um, but she's being a little pushy. She's gonna be educated right now. Like I said, I'm kind of new, so. so How long have you been a police officer? I only, actually, since June. Really? I got, I got my commission in June, and I've been here. I'm, I actually just got off. Uh, well, it depends. I, my you go, like you went to San Antonio? San Antonio, SAC, yeah. They have different, it depends when you start. And the long, shortest would be like nine months, long is like 12. And do you get to choose where you want to work? No. You, you actually, have to apply? You have to apply. So you get you get commissioned, then you can apply anywhere. And uh, I wanted to go PD, so I came back down here. You're working up north as law enforcement? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, corrections. Oh, okay. Yeah, corrections. 
catch stuff there. So then I wanted to go to the street, so I took a test and got picked up here. You been out for a while? You need some water or anything? Actually, I'm pretty thirsty, man. I can uh, get, get you water. But it's, it's pretty dang warm today. This weather's been crazy. It started cool this morning. It was a little windy too, right? Yeah. Give me a second, right back. Okay. Are you guys detaining me right now? No. Okay. I'll, I'm not going to go anywhere, though. Have you ever had to use your weapon yet? No. <laughs> That's good, man. No. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Taser? No, I try to use my words as much as I can. I can tell you're going to be a good officer, Thanks, man. man. I appreciate it. I said just real quick, what did you say you're working for National Lab? I'm sorry? What did you say you're working for National Lab? I'm an investigative Lab? journalist and I'm out here on, a, on okay. assignment. All right, sir. Well, I'll go ahead and let you be. So did you get educated today on 3802? No, I didn't look at that called your supervisor uh, yeah. be on the safe side you know uh -huh. but all right i'll go ahead and let you be just all right people but y'all be safe those are, those are nice how come you don't have body cam like i told you some people were concerned they didn't know if you needed a ride or so I'm, you know i'm good but, all right y'all have a good day y'all be safe for something. i appreciate it bud as law enforcement officers it is crucial to understand and apply the law accurately in each specific situation this will be a valuable lesson for those officers who are unprofessional and inexperienced helping them perform their duties better. I'm recording here, for your protection too, sir. the gentleman here has a weapon, sir. I'm recording for your protection. You, I'm, in, I'm in my vehicle. He, I'm in my private vehicle. The gentleman in front of me. It seems that these police officers do not like being confronted by citizen cameras. Sir, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Is there anything I can do for you? Nah, not at this point. Huh? All right. Is there any particular reason you're following us around? Uh, I don't worry. You're on camera you. too. Yeah. I'll the situation would have been much simpler if not for the presence of Patrolman Leonard at the parking lot. When approaching a man, Patrolman Leonard not only demanded he leave the area, but also irrationally demanded identification. In this situation, using a camera to record the exchange with the police is not only a reasonable action, but also a right protected by the First Amendment's freedom of speech. This is a clear example of protecting one's rights in such situations. Yo creo que ese, ese, ese quiere venir, ese sí está loco por venir para acá. I'm doing good, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. Is there anything I can do for you? Nah, not at this point, huh? All right, is there any particular reason you're following us around? I Don't worry, you're on camera you. too. Yeah, I okay. just want to record you. You just want to record us? All yeah, right, well, we're in the middle of a stop, so if you don't mind just pulling up a little bit over there. Okay. Pulling up where? No, I'm okay right here. If you don't mind just pulling up for me, that's all I'm I asking. I can't, no. Where? Where? Just up to the front of the parking lot over here. Oh, no, I'm, I'm good right here. Do you have an ID on you by chance? Why you need my ID? I'm just asking for it. Why are you blinding my... Uh, you can record wanna, wherever you yeah, want. Like I said, you're being recorded direction. as well. I'm just curious. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, do you Thank not you. have anything better? Because we're trying to do our job and you're, you know, kind of starting to interfere with that a little bit. Interfere? Why? Because I'm recording? Interfere because I'm recording. Do you have an ID on you? Why you need my ID? Just ask for it. Oh, you the guy that was uh, at my at my garage over there, right? I have no idea what you're talking about, dude. You don't know? No. What's your name and badge number? Patrolman Leonard, it's 194. Now, do you have your ID on you? No, but I I, I need to make a report on you. You need to make a report on me? Yeah, okay, man. well, you can come to City Hall and file a report with the I will, I will. I just wanted your name. Your name is what? Patrolman Leonard, and it's 194. Leonard. Okay, one Okay. Okay, good. Gotcha. Now he's running my plate so he can get my name. I'm just getting your plate. Yeah. Same thing you did last time. I'm surprised you guys don't like cameras. Must be doing something wrong. This is good. I got his name. Now I can go file a report. Complain against this piece of shit. This man truly impressed with his determination and composure in standing firm and exercising his rights, despite the police presence. Importantly, he was not breaking the law and had no obligation to comply with any police demands. In the end, as expected, the police were forced to leave, proving that patience and legal knowledge helped him effectively protect his rights. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Wonderful. My name is Sergeant McLeod of Halo City Police. For my safety and for yours, can you do me a favor, please? If you wish to record me, that's perfectly fine. But I'm going to ask that you please pull up there. I'm looking, across the street. I'm, I'm not, across the I'm street. Asking, I, I give I'm you asking a, you as a favor for not, myself. No, no, no. I, I give you enough space. Let me space. explain to you. That way I don't have to keep What about looking, my safety? That way I don't have to keep back What about my you. safety? You, you worry about you, your sir. safety. What about my sir, safety? I'm, I'm not interfering with nothing, with sir, nothing you do. I don't know doing. who you are. I don't know what you're You don't need to know who I am. 
Oh, you can need I, to know is that I'm recording. To you, no, I'm in a parking lot of, of a private business. I, I, yeah, I'm across are. the street. But you're also causing a danger to myself. No, sir. I'm recording here, for your protection, too, sir. If the gentleman too, here sir. has a weapon, sir, I'm recording for your protection. I'm, you, in, I'm in my vehicle. He, I'm in my private vehicle. If the gentleman in front of me, well, and that'll be too bad. And if he pulls a weapon out, that'll be too bad for us. For all of us, that would be too bad for me. I mean, I'm trying to keep myself safe, you safe. That officer safe and him safe. But you so guys, look at you. Look, you, you, you have how many, how many, how many weapons you have I'm in there? You, for a favor, you have handcuffs. You have you uh, please camera. A Why are you covering your face? Your if your you camera. Can, my camera's not covering. Yeah, it's yeah. Right I, I, I want if that you video. Can please do me a favor, sir, and pull I up can't there, do you that so favor that because I'm across the street. The well, I'm gonna have an officer stand right here and no watch problem. you. No problem. No so, problem. So do your thing. Do your job. Yeah, do your job. You're doing a great job. I appreciate your cooperation. Okay. No problem. No problem. Next time, don't 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 put that face out of my eyes. Of course, my safety. What about my safety? Esto es esto es una prueba. Esto es una prueba de que quieren ellos imponer leyes que no existen. Al cruzar la calle estoy totalmente lejos de donde ellos están porque estamos a, a, a cruzar la calle y sin embargo quieren que yo me mueva de aquí porque no quieren que los, que los grabe. Algo estarán haciendo mal que no quieren que yo los grabe, ¿verdad? Pues se equivocaron porque yo estoy en mi derecho de estar grabando y estoy en el parqueo de, de pie en sí todavía. Que ni siquiera estoy cerca de donde ellos están porque si estuviera cerca de donde ellos están yo les digo que, está, que estoy interfiriendo o algo, pero al cruzar la calle todavía. Negativo, negative. From such incidents, it is evident that each of us needs to have determination and resolve, and to achieve that, you need to deepen your legal knowledge to stand firm against unjust police demands. No, but we, we have is suspicion right a crime or a violation? You what you're doing here and why you're here. No, and the same, way, the same way I could talk to you guys, right? This is a Police also engage in actions such as searching and detaining citizens in public spaces. For personal use, I'm not answering more questions. Am I being detained? Not right at this moment. Okay, so what are we doing here? So what are we doing? At some point, what? It's public, so you need to learn. It appears that the police in this situation abused their power and showed a lack of respect for citizens' rights. Instead of conducting searches, making arrests, and issuing threats, they could have resolved the issue in a more gentle and reasonable manner. The man was not a criminal and had not violated any laws. He was simply exercising his rights in a parking lot near the police station and practicing freedom of speech and the press under the First Amendment. Furthermore, the police's intervention also violated Fourth Amendment rights, protecting against unreasonable searches and seizures. This is a clear example of how power can be abused, going against fundamental legal principles. Hey, okay. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. don't, don't, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. don't touch me, please don't. I don't consent to no search and seizures. I don't. I'm in public place. Whoa, whoa, relax. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because you coming up here running on me, trying to grab me. Don't grab me. Don't touch me. I'm not trying to grab me. Okay. Don't. You're a cop. De-escalate the situation. Oh, That's you what you're trained to do, right? Sir. That's what you're trained you to do. Whoa, whoa. No, no. De-escalate. No, no. I do not you consent to, to any searches or seizures. I haven't broken the law. Yes, stop you backing. You're, you're cornering me in a corner. Please. Please stop. Please stop. I know. Look. You're pushing me into a corner. I don't want you touching me. Do you have identification? What is your name and badge number? Why are you coming up behind me? Stop. What are you guys doing? I do not feel safe. You do not feel safe. I'm not I'm not the one running up on you. Sir. What's you your name and badge case? number? You What's you your name and badge number, sir? Case? What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number, sir? What's your name? I'm asking you, what's your name what's and badge name? number? You made contact with me. Yeah. Do you hear what they said to you? Do you have identification? What is your policy state here? Do you sir. have to identify? Sir, do you have identification? I would like Can to you know please you stop are. coming up on me? Look, you're putting me into a corner. There's no corner here. Stop. I would like you're to putting know. me up against the wall and I don't like it. You need to stop. Don't do anything. Don't. I'm, I have no weapons. I'm not a danger to you. I'm you doing. Have no idea I am committing a First Amendment protected activity. You will violate my rights if you touch me. Don't do this. What are you doing? You have for? identification. We'd like to know what you're doing on our parking lot. Am I under arrest? Uh, Am I being detained? Identification. Identify yourself. You may be. No, 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 no. You see, you can lie, but that's not the case. Am I being detained? Listen, you gotta relax. You can, listen. I'm. Tr I talked to two officers. No, buddy. you are. I talked to two oh, officers yeah, on camera like before this, you're, and they were fine. You guys are surrounding me. I don't know if these guys are cops. Can you please just protect officers. me? Okay. You don't need protection. Just take a deep breath. We're all How do you surround people? Sir, we're all having a conversation, right? Okay, let's have a conversation. No problem. All right, what's going on today? 
I'm come. I'm. You actually are doing something. I am here in a police department's parking lot. I am. Can I tell you what I'm doing? Do you want me to tell you? I'm going to gonna answer this one question for you. Right. I'm engaging in a First Amendment protected activity. Did you swear an oath to the Constitution, ma'am? Sir. Did you swear an oath to the Constitution? Sure Protect me from these guys sure. and let me continue me. doing my constitutional right. That's it. Well, I talked to two officers before this and they were very nice. What am I trying to accomplish today? I'm trying to, whatever I want. I'm working on a story. These cop cars look cool. I want to look at them. You're working on a story? For personal use. I'm not answering any more questions. Am I being detained? Not right at this moment. Okay, so what are we doing here? So what are we doing? At some point, what? This is public, so you need to learn the law. If you're gonna, if you're gonna uphold the law, you need to learn the law. Terrorist, you could be a that's the problem, man. Criminal. She could be a terrorist or a criminal, but you guys have to learn the law. You don't come up to me. Listen, you came up to me and started grabbing me, man. That's not cool. I have a wide angle lens, so guess what? It's gonna see you grabbing me. And is touching another citizen an assault? I want a complaint for him. I want to complain for him. He's not giving me his name. Okay. He grabbed me. Here's the thing. You're not giving us your name. I don't either. care. You don't need my name, ma'am. I guarantee you I will leave here and you won't have my name, sir. Guarantee you that. You're being lawfully asked for identification. You are. No, you're not. Listen, there is no stop an ID state in, in, in New York. You can ask me whatever you want. You can ask me what the color of the sky is. You can ask me what size shoe I am. But I can answer you and say, well, no, thank you. I don't want it. I don't consent to any searches. I don't consent to any seizures. I don't want to identify myself. I'm not committing a crime. I have no weapons. I'm not a threat to you. you I'm trying. I told this man, listen, just DS. No, I have no weapons. You open up your coat and show us that you have no weapons? Sure. I'll do that for you. Just, to, just so that way. Look, I'm opening up my coat. Just so that way you don't know. Safety. Safety first. I have nothing. I have nothing. Look, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to turn around. I have nothing. Sure. I have nothing. Okay. I'm going to turn around. I'll do it. No problem. Because I, I want your safety first. That's what it's about. I want your safety first. Look, keys. The dispute did not stop there but escalated further. It is evident that the police were intentionally violating the citizens' rights protected by the Fifth Amendment. The man's refusal to provide identification was entirely reasonable and legal under these circumstances. What's important now is to have an appropriate measure to ensure justice and protect citizens' rights in such situations. But, I mean, he did come out with his badge, but you can't be touching me like that and putting me up against the wall, man. And answering questions, keep they didn't even ask trouble. me a question, ma'am. They just came up to me and put me into the corner. I, if they would listen, you came here and just listen, you did your job and you de escalated what you're trained to do. Mm -hmm. And what did I do in return? I showed you I'm not armed. How about you. we move on with our day? I mean, you can move on with your day whenever you'd like, ma'am. I don't know what you, what you need to do, but you can go and do whatever you want to do. Hamley, you got a badge number? 655. 655, thank you. Um, so I'm not being detained, correct? Not at this point in time. Sir. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate that. And you said I can get um complaint forms in there, right? Out of this building, around to the right, there's a main office. You can speak with them at the front desk. Okay. You guys got complaint forms? They do exist. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Hanley. Hey, listen. I don't want to. I don't want to put a. Um. I don't want to put a complaint on you if I don't have to. You could just apologize to me, and we can move on as men. So you're not gonna apologize to me for touching me. All right. You could have just apologized. I didn't want to. I don't want to have to file a complaint, but I mean, that's what you want to do. What's up, guys? Hey, can I get your name, and badge number? Pulaski, 619. Pulaski? Yeah, like the road. And, and what's your name, badge number, sir? Calzone. Like Calzone, but with an F. Calzone, with an F. Calzone. Yeah. Gotcha. You have any idea so we know who you are? We're not no. in trouble here. Think we just want I know I'm in trouble, but listen, this guy, your guys came up to me real we hostile. Here. We're here. We're I know. So what's, do we give any ID on you? I'm not relinquishing any ID to you. I'm not, I don't right. want to identify so myself. you're asking for my name, but I'm asking for your name. I but your me. policy states you have to give me your name. I don't, listen, I'm, all I'm doing is following the law. Suspicious right now, walking around for us. What are you doing over I here? Showed, I showed the other officers I had nothing on. I had okay, no no what weapons. Are you doing over here? We just want to know what you're doing. Because my tax dollars pays for this car, so I want to check it out. I want to see what it looks like. I want to see if you guys got your inspection on done right. Make sure everything's all right. Yeah, 2021. See? I'm just checking you guys out, making sure everything's all right. That's all. I'm not doing nothing illegal, sir. I'm not, I have no malicious, I could, yeah, but what, what, what crime is fishy? You, you don't think in 2021 it's not you walk around police headquarters fishy that you're walking around police headquarters? Just no, right but we, we have is the suspicion right of crime or a violation? Ask you what you're doing here and why you're here. No, and the same way, the same way I could talk to you guys, right? This is a, if I want to walk away from you, I can, but I'm talking to you. I'm giving you. The difference is we're answering you and you're not answering us. Because I'm not going to give you my name. That's not, that's, that's, that's my first amendment right. I don't have to. But you're not like telling us why you're up here. I did. I, I told. I told many. Of them. I'm working on a story. I'm checking out these cars. I'm doing everything right. That's all I'm doing, man. Uh, nothing. Did you nothing. Tell them, look, them inside. The no, I'm gonna go inside because that guy. That guy put his hands on me, so I'm gonna file a complaint on him. But I mean, yeah, no, of course, man. Like you said, we just want. No, I'm not. I'm not. I understand that's your job. To, listen, I'm not saying you're wrong for asking me for my name. That's your job to do that. I get that, but 
is something that I don't want to do. You got anything you're hiding from us? There's nothing I'm hiding from you now. There's well, nothing. Just give us your name. We're on our way. For what? What do you need my name for? Is my name gonna make me any less dangerous to you, sir? Oh, it just helps when we like write a report, you know? Yeah, that's what we want to do. Oh, I mean, you could write a report and put good citizen, all right? First name good, last name citizen. You could put that in your report, all right? All right, guys, you have a safe day, all right? All right. Take care. All right, you too. Sheesh. I can't believe that guy just got up on me like that. That's crazy. He trying to grab me. Wow. Well, I try to give him an, an option too. Just, listen, just apologize and I will be men. Through this final incident, we once again realize the importance of understanding the law as a significant advantage in navigating difficult situations when facing the police. You know, we can't shake hands because of Corona. How you doing, ma'am? Good. Good. We can't shake hands because of Corona, but uh, elbow bump or something. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. We hope you've gained valuable insights to protect your rights when interacting with the police. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to spread the word. To stay updated with the latest videos and continue supporting the fight against police misconduct, follow us and keep supporting. Together, we can protect civil rights and build a fairer society.